Trees are wonderful things. How much they grow in a year depends on the local conditions, like how warm it is and how much it rains. In seasonal climates where growth stops in the winter, trees lay down an annual growth band, often referred to as a tree ring. When conditions are good, growth rates are quicker and the tree rings will be wide. But when conditions are poor, the tree rings for that year will narrow. Changing conditions over the years results in a barcode-like pattern of wide and narrow tree rings. Since there's one ring per year, it is possible to work out when each ring grew and date the trees. The pattern can also be matched up between different trees, which helps to check the dating. By using preserved woody material of the same species in buildings or natural systems, for example in lake sediments, river gravels and bogs, the living tree ring record can be extended further back in time. This process is called cross-dating. The longest tree record in the world is the Central European Oak Record, which now goes back continuously to 8480 BC. Dating of tree rings and interpreting the information from the barcode-like pattern is called dendrochronology. Dendrochronology can be used to figure out the age of things made of wood. Dating of historical buildings is one of the oldest applications. Climate, forest fires, insect outbreaks, pollution and other factors all influence the growth of tree rings and there are lots of sub-disciplines of dendrochronology. Reconstructing past climate from tree rings is known as dendroclimatology and tree ring archives are one of the most important records for studying climate of the past 1,000 to 2,000 years. Because trees grow across the planet, they are invaluable archives to study past environmental change Trees are indeed wonderful things.